That is absolutely right. You going first did not even save you. I crushed you in my hands, man, like a blueberry that you are. Get out of here. And that, my friends, is a premature fruit of the day, the blueberry. What up, brothers and sisters, and welcome to MTG Malone with me, Matches Malone. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. I hope you're having the most freaking wonderful day. I know I do because today I'm playing some new cards from the new expansion that actually do something. That are actually more than just a little, you know, sprinkling on top by cooking your deck and, you know, all of that. And talking about cooking the deck, we will be getting that to that right away. Before we do that, though, we're on our way to 23,000 as the making of this video, which is Monday. Yes, I'm recording this video Monday. I also recorded part of it yesterday, I think, on Sunday. So it doesn't even freaking matter. Deck tech is on Monday. So um, we're on 22,600. So that is crazy. Freaking crazy. So maybe, maybe until the end of the month, easy peasy, we can hit the 23,000. That would be freaking amazing. Also, we'll be gone for some days, but there will still be videos. So don't you freaking worry. I will only be gone in spirit but enough with the yammering let's get into the cooking baby hammering we're playing rock on the street chef look at him oh he has a little chicken in his hand and it looks freaking delicious i'm i'm cooking right now i have the fries in the oven so we have the rock on the street chef what does he do well he's not only a street chef he's also a sweet chef in my favorite freaking color combination for aggro naya so, uh, why do I like Naya so much? Well, because of Jetmeet and Axe of Rounds, but we're getting to that right away. So, at the beginning of your end step, each player exiles the top card of their library. Until your next end step, everybody may play their cards. And when a player plays a card from exile, or plays a land from exile, you put a 1-1 counter on a creature you control and create a food token. And that is super darn good, because we have a lot of ways to play exiled freaking cards. Not only Rocco, the Street Chef, who else do we have here that works with that very well? Is Pianalar, or Pianalar, the Council of Revival. Um, top this you control F haste, which is super darn good. And whenever you play a land from exile or cast a spell from exile, you create a 1-1 Thopter with flying. So, that means these two work very darn freaking well together. And you know what works even better with that? Is Ginny Fay making those Thopters that are 1-1s, now into 2-2 two -two haste cats, or 3-1 with Vigilance Dogs, if you prefer that. And look at this little cat and dog there, it's so beautiful. Oh, this little Greyhound, I love it. So, that is what we want to do. And you know, putting the counters down, very darn freaking delicious. And bumping the squad with our Jetmere Nexus of Rebels. Creatures you control get plus 1, plus 0 oh, and Vigilance if you have 3. If you have 6 creatures, now they get an additional plus 1 and also Trample. And if you have nine creatures, now they even get double strike. Yes, he is one of my commanders and it is so much fun to play with this card. And apart from, you know, just making tokens here, here and here, we also have the wedding announcement. And that is just exactly what we freaking need. Some more cards to be played out of exile, I told you about. We have the experimental synthesizer that works very well with these two cards. We have the invasion of Gobokan and that is just amazing because when we flipped this, we played something from exile. Because it says exile it and then you may play it. So very darn freaking good. Uh, we have the uh, Rand's Resolve here. So we exile the top two cards. We play one of those or two even if we can. Now there's like two cards exiled. Triggers these two. We have the Nahiri's Warcrafting. We can deal five damage to creature planeswalker or battle. And then we may exile a card with the excess damage that we dealt. So if we like deal four damage and we have one damage left. We now can look at the top card. Get that card. Exile it and play it. Super darn good, works very well with these. So, that is just super darn amazing. And if they destroy your stuff, well, we still have a set of Patagone, bringing back everything you see here, but the Jet Mirio. So we can also bring back lands if we want to, we don't want to, but we can freaking do that. Wedding announcement also draws us cards. So if we really have to, apart from this and this, you know, all the card adventures that we're getting, we are still pretty darn freaking fine. And all the life gain that we get from this will also help us against Mono Freaking Red. Today's video is crazy. I had such a long match and it was at the ending of when I recorded. So I was like, okay, I'm done. I'm done. 
So if the video is a little bit shorter than usual and it has only two matches, well, <laughs> that's the reason why. But trust me, that match was absolute freaking madness. It was just insanity. I cannot believe that match, so you absolutely have to freaking watch it, trust me. Also, I forgot this also makes you a samurai if you pay the three and you exile a card. So with this, you can trigger Rocco twice, trigger Pianalar twice, and you know, Jetmir likes the creatures very darn freaking well. Land-wise, we have four planes, three uh, mountains and one forest, and we have all of these colors. And you know, Jetmir's garden, it's Jetmir. Even has the mask in his hand, the mask is on the garden. What else do you freaking want, my friends? So, this is Cook It, baby! I'm Magis Malone, and I will see you in those chicken games! I'm so hungry. Today we're cooking, my friend! We're cooking some real good food! I'm so excited about this tech. I playtested it right now, and it works like a freaking charm. Okay, alright. We have a nice start here. We're up against Mono Red, eh? Do not like that too much. Really do not. But you know, this is still alright. We do have nice blockers here as well with, you know, the Sarah Paragon and everything. So, yeah, huge fan, huge fan. Um, let's tickle out some spells out of their hand, shall we? Freaking shall we? If they have a lightning strike here, go ahead, use it. Phoenix chick and a lightning strike. No? Alright, I will still be blocking here. Getting rid of this is still fine, you know? Still absolutely fine. So here's the uh, Jennifer. And next turn we bring down the Sarah Paragon and then we're forever good, you know? Forever and ever. They're attacking and with everything. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> you can do that, my friend. You can freaking do that. So, do you think they have the stroke, the flame, or whatever that card is called? I don't think they do. Okay. Come to play with fire. To where, though? Masera Paragon? Absolutely fine with me. I will just play another one here, you know? Yeah, you can do that, my friend. You can do that. Alright, Mono Red. Mono brain dead, uh, more or less here. So, uh, we're bringing down, like, still Jinnifei here next turn. Absolutely alright. They cannot do anything. They're, they're kind of done, you know? Like, what are they supposed to do? Like, are they really trying here now to come back from this? The moment that I... Yeah, that's right, Mono Red! That is right! That is absolutely right! You going first did not even save you! I crushed you in my hands, man, like a blueberry that you are. Get out of here. And that, my friends, is a premature fruit of the day, the blueberry. Oh, Mono Red, you really tried to defeat me, but I crushed you thoroughly. Thoroughly? Thoroughly. Thoroughly. All right, we're a little slow land-wise, but that is still fine. Like, we do have removal here, you know, we do have this, so I think that we're okay here. I think we are. What are you? Dragons? I think they're dragons. Yeah, one bajillion percent of their dragons. So let us try to see what they are. What are you, my friend? Oh, what a surprise! A fable of the mirror breaker in your hand, eh? So we're getting rid of one of them. So, do you have it right away? You're missing a land drop. I'm not even sad for you, my friend. I am not even freaking sad for you. Okay, I mean, they can go with the voltage search here if they want to, but is that really what they want to? I don't think they do want to do that. All right, what are you playing? The Fable? All righty. All freaking righty. That is so fine with me. I couldn't freaking care less about that. So, let us try to find another land here. Ooh. I mean, I want to find that land, you know? I wanted to find that land. Couldn't have played anything else anyway, so does it even really matter? 
So we're up against Jeskai Control. I hope we can be aggressive enough here. Getting rid of the shark. The negate. Okay. Negate could be a problem for you, my friend. Would have kept it if I were you. Buddy. Who am I to tell people how to play the game? Am I right? Am I right? Are you really shooting that now? Go ahead and do that, my friend. You go ahead and do that. I could not care less about that. You threw away your other shark. We even found another Ginny Fay, which is amazing. Still attacking Gobokan. Ending the turn. So, all of our creatures are big and strong now. Now, we do have answers here, so we're willing to use them. Maybe they're bringing down another Fable of the Mirror Breaker here. Maybe they're doing that. Who knows? Maybe they're wiping the board. That is also possible. Nope, they're going with the other Fable of the Mirror Breaker. All right. All freaking right, my friend. That is so good for me. So good. And we'll be getting rid of this one here now. Another land. Come on, game. Come on. There's no need to do this. You can chill, you know? You can do whatever. But you don't have to give me all the land. All right. Here it comes now. Bring it down, Jinnafei. Nice little 4-4. Ending the turn. So. Now we start pressuring them. Like a cooker. And I hope we find something else. 2, 4, 6, 9 lands in the first 15 is not really good, you know? Oh, they are dragons. Okay, you are dragons somehow. Okay, but the thing is that we have the light field array, so we can chill, you know? Light field, light shield array. <laughs> okay, they do have another fable. Just normal. They have drawn more fable. Uh, we have drawn more land to their fable, so we're still fine. And they can transform this 1-1 one, one if they want to. If they really want to. Another land. Beautiful game. Very beautiful. Fair and beautiful, you know? Just exactly what is supposed to happen here. Just exactly. Just fair and beautiful. So. I mean, hey, you know, 2, 4, 6, 10... Lands. Am I even counting right? Two, four, six, eight, ten. Yeah, I am. <laughs> ten lands in the first uh, 16 cards. Just a normal amount, you know? Just the normalest of all freaking amounts. Okay, if they want to bring down their, um, their uh, stupid wandering emperor here, I'm all for it, you know? I can still use the light shield array to protect my creatures. And maybe one day I even find something of value. There is a chance that that happens. You never know. You never freaking know. So, here comes the uh, exile everything kind of thing, and then we're done. Farewell? Do you have a farewell? Oh, it's a wandering emperor. Okay. What are you doing, though? I'm not overconfident. You're just no, I have this, right? No, I do have this, right? I wonder, I ponder why you did this. So can we please get something? Okay, perfect. Freaking perfect. So. We are attacking the Wandering Emperor here. We'll see what they're doing. They're doing nothing about it. I love it. Okay, so if they uh, wipe the board or whatever, we just Fateful Absence our own stuff. I'm just... In a light, you know, slight shock situation here that I drew 10 land to the first 16 cards. Zergo! You have another one of those now. Okay, alright. That is only like 4 damage. I can still live with that. We'll be getting rid of this reflection of the Kikijiki because they can copy it. I don't want to see that happening. I really don't. And maybe, maybe, we find something to work with here, you know? There's a high chance, a very high chance. We could find, like, another Nahiri's war form. We could find, like, you know, the Thopter lady. I would like to see that, to be honest. It's another land. Are you joking, game? Like, come on. Come on, really? 
Really? Like what even is this? This is pure freaking jokes, man. Pure freaking jokes. Absolutely incredible, man. Absolutely incredible. I can know there is a limit to what I can take and this limit has been achieved a long time ago. A long freaking time ago. Two, four, six, eight, twelve freaking lands in the first 18 cards. Get out of here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven non-lands in 18. Like what even is this, man? What even is this? Like why is this? You know, that is what I'm wondering. Why is this? Just how? Our opponent, you know, is on 25 cards drawn. It is two, four, eight lands now. Eight lands. And I'm still drawing la What in the tarnation, man? Are you joking, Gabe? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on. Like, how can I have drawn more than half of my lands and less than half of my deck, man? And our opponent's just like jolly and everything. They have discarded one land. So that makes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 lands in 30 cards. And I have freaking 13 lands in 19 cards. Get out of here, man. Get out of here. In all honesty. Like, what am I even supposed to do anymore, you know? Like, let's be real. What am I even supposed to do anymore? Like, it's done. Game is over. I could have had a chance, you know? A small, insignificant chance, but... Nah, man. Nah, man. This is just jokes, man. This... I... I... I'm not for this kind of game. You know, me drawing lands for... Are you kidding me? What? What? Come on, man. Come on, man. Like in all honesty. Like in all freaking honesty. What is this? Yeah, and then we draw two rock... What even? Like, what What am I supposed to do with two Rockos, man? What am I supposed to do with two Rockos, man? Are you... <laughs> Just for real, man. This is just dirty freaking jokes. Dirty freaking jokes, man. Jokes that I'm not willing to accept. Not at all. They could have put a counter on the uh, Zergo here. Just what is this, man? Like, come on. Like, how can you give me so many lands, man? At least now we should be able to, you know, find something other than lands, maybe? Who knows? Who freaking knows? So they have another Wandering Amp right hand. We know that much. Come on, play your stuff. Use Jetmir now. I cannot believe this, man. I don't wanna believe this. So, what are you doing? Are you countering this? That's what I thought. I am playing you here, putting a counter onto my Rocco. <laughs> what, what even is this, man? What even is this? Like, you know, sometimes the game is just pure freaking jokes, man. Pure freaking jokes, man. Alright, so, now at least we're gaining some life, you know? But, uh, is it good enough? I don't know, man. I really don't know. Really do not know if it is good enough. Should have attacked in with everything. Sacrificing the food here. They need two wandering emperors to beat us here right away. Okay, we're going, but I'm just, I'm sorry, everybody. I'm very sorry, but if this kind of stuff happens, that is just pure freaking jokes, man. Purest freaking jokes. Also, I like how we disc exile two Reckoner Bankbusters for them. Are you using one? Can we please do something here now? That would be very cool. If they give me another land here, I will, like, punch the monitor. All right, that is super cool. Thank you very much. Thank you very freaking much. We still have a chance here, you know? Experimental synthesizer first. Putting a counter here. They could have a negate for it if they really want to use it. If this gives me another land deck. Okay, another experimental synthesizer. Why not? Why freaking not? All for it, you know? I'm still looking for, like, Ginny Face or whatever. Another land. Okay. Well, I haven't played a land yet, but let us still do this. Trading that Samurai, Jetmir likes that, because that will give us, like, you know, freaking Vigilance and everything. The Sarah Paragon! I only need one land to survive. So we're kind of okay here. I'm still, like, flabbergasted, man. Freaking flabbergasted. 
The make disappear, eh? All right. We're still kind of good here. Like, look at our board. Our board is amazing. I am attacking in here. Like, we have so much life gain now. What are they even supposed to do? But still, game, you piece of trash. <laughs> you're, st <laughs> you're just a literal piece of trash, man. So, only a farewell can save him here. Only a farewell. Please don't have a farewell on top. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> Oh, this is just amazing! Finally! Freaking finally, man! Freaking finally! So, we might win next turn. We might. Depending on what they have here. If they have a board wipe, which they totally will have here, we're a little bit sad, you know? Just ever so slightly a little bit sad. So we will be on one li on two life here. Two? Yeah, on two life. Man! <laughs> This game is just pure madness sometimes. Pure freaking madness. Like, how are you doing that game? If they do have a uh, take an extra turn after this one, like I would put in this deck, that would be bad for us. That would be really bad for us. Also, uh, Voltage Surge cannot target my face, right? No, it can't. Get out of here, game. Get freaking out of here. Get freaking me out of here. Okay. We're playing you here now. The Sunfall. Pff. Pff. Okay. Let's pop this, see what we can find for it. Jet Mirror is alright, I like that. We'll make us a Thopter. Did I play a land already? I don't even know anymore. Like, I'm getting the Thopter anyways, you know? So that is pretty darn good. I have played a land already, okay. Do you think they have another, like, you know, Sunfall? Would be bad if they did. The Abrade. Okay. If they do have another Sunfall here, that is just, you know, then it's just... Pure freaking unadulterated freaking jokes, man. Freaking jokes, man. <laughs> I'm just waiting for that other sunfall to happen, to be honest. You know, I'm just waiting for it. So, uh, we're through half of our deck now. That, come on, really, game. Really. Freaking really. Sacrificing that food. Like, we still have, like, nine life lying around. You know, it's not that bad. And we can still play the Sarah Paragon and refill really, really good. So I'm all good here still. I'm still all good. They need like another sunfall here to be very, very darn dirty. And here it comes in three, two, one. Yep. Not even slightly surprised. And hold on, I'm not even slightly surprised. Like, would you be here? Nah, man, nah, you wouldn't. <laughs> you wouldn't. <laughs> you would not be surprised at all here. Alright, we go with the invasion of Gobokan. Looking at their hand here. Uh, making this one more expensive, yes. One, two, three, four. I do have enough mana here to be happy, you know? But it is still not good enough. I need blockers, though. Like nothing else. I need blockers like nothing else. But I also need to kind of get six life here. <laughs> I also need that. <laughs> also need freaking that. So, my lord, what is this game? Like, how does Rocco always find a Rocco first? So, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. All right, the drawing here. Like, I have seven life right now. Seven freaking life. And I will see what I can do with it. The thing is also, if they destroy my Rocco, I still have a chance here, you know? Like, what is this game, man? <laughs> like, in all honesty, what is this game? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Like, how can the game screw you so hard, man? So hard. I think they have another landfall and that is what they're digging for here. But the thing is, even if they do, uh, the Rocco will still give me three life. Which is amazing. One, two, three, four, five. And they cannot attack in with their tanks then, which is also pretty good. So, we're just, you know, bamboozling them over and over again. Maybe we can just mill them for exiling everything with Roccos, you know? There's a chance that that might be happening. Alright, now they do have enough life for it. Uh, mana for it. Holy smoking Jesus. Holy smirking Jerseys. I don't think that they will use the landfall now. Like, in all honesty, why would they? What do I have in here? Another invasion of Gobokan. Do I even want to use that? I don't think I do. Or maybe I do. I mean, you know, flipping the invasion is also pretty good. Alright. The sea shark is slightly annoying here. Not gonna lie about that. But at least we can do some shenaniganery still here, you know? That is pretty good. I like that. So, what is this game, man? <laughs> what is this game? <laughs> I cannot believe this game, man. I really cannot. So we're back to seven life here. Another land, eh? I think I have to go with the experimental synthesizer. Yeah, I have to. I need all the life I can get. I need all the freaking life I can get. Alright. Put this on the Sarah Paragon. Exiling more cards here. Ooh, the invasion is super darn nice here. I like it a lot. Not gonna lie. Not gonna freaking lie. I'm putting it onto Street Chef. Let us have a look at their hand here. What are all of these, man? What are all of freaking these? So... Getting rid of the Vaulted Surge, making it super expensive for them. Now I will be attacking one of my invasions. Because why the heck not, you know? They want to block this go ahead. You do want to block it. Beautiful. Very beautiful. I like it. I'm a huge fan. Not gonna lie about that. Alright. Here's the wedding announcement now. Like, <laughs> what is this game, man? <laughs> what is this freaking game, man? I am still in shock about it. Still in absolute shock about it. So, this costs what? Oh, okay. Well, that is still fine with me. Decline. Um, ending the turn. We have 23, they have 12 cards. So we will see how this turns out, man. We will just have to see how this turns out. I'm still getting a food if they're playing their Zergio here. Oh, they're doing it twice. Oh no, I forgot that they could just do that. Oh no, man. Oh no. Yeah, I mean, this game was screwed from the beginning, so I'm not even, you know, mad about too much that is going on here right now, but it's just still a dirty joke, man. I have 23 cards left. 23 cards left, and there is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 lands. 16 lands, man. Just like that. Just like that. All right, I will be drawing here. I don't need to life right away. Let's do that. Hopefully find something to work with here. Well, that is at least something, you know? It's not much, but it's at least something. All right, so we will see how this turns out, man. We will just have to see how this turns out. <laughs> it's not looking good at all, I'm not gonna lie. It is really not looking good at all for us here. Poor me, poor me. Just no chance of... I love this for us. What is in here? Is there another Rocco in here? There sadly is not. 
But this is big enough still. Bringing down Jinnafei. Bringing down this wedding announcement. Playing the land because I can. Alright! Holy freaking smokes, what a game, man. What a freaking game. We will be milling them at this point. We will just be freaking milling them. So what am I making myself? The cat is good. The cat is pretty good. Okay, alright. As long as we're alive, I will just let anything happen here, you know? What a game, man. <laughs> what a freaking game, man. I cannot believe this. We're 23 minutes in. 23 freaking minutes in. And the game is still going on. How much mana do I have? I can get 6 life, so I'm going to 13. If they don't have a board wipe here, we're looking pretty darn good. Pretty darn freaking good. Because what are they going to do? Attack me for 8? Or whatever, you know? That is absolutely fine with me. The Reckoner Bank Bosta, alright? We're down to 10 cards, you know? They're getting rid of Ginny Fey here. 8, do this. Do it. Freaking do it. We're down to 9 cards. If we do draw land off the top here, I will be slightly disappointed, game. How many Jetmere's Gardens have I seen? Two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Are you attacking in? You're not. Who's? All right, let's go back to ten life here. I, I can't believe this game, man. I really can't. I really freaking can't believe this game, man. This is just absolute freaking madness. Do you think they have a wandering emperor in hand? Do you think they have that? I don't even know, man. But I'd rather go for a card advantage, you know? And life gain, of course. Wedding announcement. We're going for another cat here. Oh, Nahiri's Warcrafting is also super darn good here. Because we can get rid of this now. Line. Okay, another wedding announcement. So let me see if we're going all in here. If we are going all in, that means we have 8 plus 3 makes 11, plus 3 makes 14. They can block one of these things, so that makes 10. They have a wandering emperor, we're just doomed. So what I will be doing... Is nothing. Ending the turn here. I don't want to run into a Wandering Emperor, to be honest. They have nine cards left. What is this game, man? What is this game? This is absolute freaking madness. Yeah, absolute freaking madness. So more cats, more cats. Okay, all right. If they do have the thing, if they do have another Sunfall in their deck, then that's just jokes, man. Yeah, absolute jokes. I was afraid of a Wandering Emperor. They could have blocked this one here, so they wouldn't have been dead, though. And I really don't want to lose. Like, if I would have attacked him with everything, I would have no blockers left. Maybe I should have done it still. I don't know. But we will see here. It all comes down to this, my friend. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? <gasps> oh, my sweet baby Jesus. They're not doing anything. They're not freaking doing anything. So let's check out their hand. Let us check out their hand, man. See what they have. Even if they do have a wandering emperor, it's not enough anymore. Now this costs six. Now let me see. They destroy one of them. They exile the other one. One, two, three, four, five, six. They need six here. They need four here. That is still twelve coming in. It is not enough yet. So what I will be doing... Is 
Just attack in here this, 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 and one goes face. We cannot block all of them. We still have a lot of life left. Oh my sweet lord. So. You will see what they're doing here. Shooting one of them makes sense. All right. What a game, man. <laughs> what a game. <laughs> this must be the craziest game I've ever played in my entire freaking life, man. In my entire freaking life. Also, we're drawing some cards here, so I'm all good, you know? All right. There you go. My judgment is fun. All right, they're blocking one of these like this. They're blocking all of them, though. Taking the hit to the face. All right. Ending the turn. I don't need that mana anyways. And them thinking that I might have something is always good, you know? All right. More freaking right. So, how many cards do we have left? 15. I think we can win this. I honestly think we can win this. Like, I have a good feeling about it. They can counter my stuff, which is super darn annoying. And I drew one more land here, so that is also super darn annoying. I cannot believe this game, man! What is even going on? 30 minutes of pure pain and we got him in the end! Oh, get out of here, game! This game could have been done 20 minutes ago if my starting lands wouldn't have been this crazy. Get out of here! I told you that the match was so darn freaking crazy and I really hope, for your sake, that you freaking watched it because oh my lord how much land did we draw in the early game and then we still got them and all just because of the food tokens that is just bananas i mean hey thank goodness we had all the land so we could use the food tokens but it was still absolute freaking madness how crazy that game was and that we really pulled it off and one is just a testament how resilient this deck can freaking be. Hey, maybe you also want to throw some other stuff, but I think the deck works very darn freaking well. And if you like Naya colors, or Italy if I like to call them, <laughs> you can just go ahead and play this deck and you will enjoy it just as much as I did. Also, I want to give a huge shout out to all of my patrons members to make it possible to keep the lights on. Where's my thing? The lights on here at MTG Malone. Ice head on! <laughs> yes, <laughs> that is how I'm doing it. Hollywood magic revealed. And if you want to check out the Patreon or the membership, there's a link below every single video that you can check out. And also, you shout out to my sponsor, Ultimate Guard. If you want to do me a favor, click the link down below in the description where you can get uh, onto the website of Ultimate Guard and they will see that I sent you. I would appreciate it very, very freaking much. And please remember, my friend, that if you're waking up tomorrow morning and see the beautiful, beautiful face of yours in the mirror, that all of you are pretty freaking sweet. I'm Mattis Malone, and I will see you all tomorrow. Peace.